The title of my talk is Love, Death, and Terpentum. I hope you're already intrigued, but I'm going to intrigue you even more. Have you ever wondered what's the history behind the witch's love potions and why they flew on brooms? They didn't actually use the power of divine or devil, but rather the power of chemistry. <laughs> For magic potions, they used real plants, which we now know as hexing herbs. The most famous are Atropa belladonna or mandrake. And the true magic is hidden within the plant compound atropine. Atropine cannot make magic, of course, but it can induce hallucinations, form flying which made ointment. They applied this ointment on a broomstick, got naked, sat on the broom like this, and apparently felt flying. <laughs> After this, Quidditch began to sparkle with new colors. Atropine in hexing herbs also made them popular for love potions. Back in ancient Greece, legendary Bacchanalian orgies supposedly featured wine with these plants, and atropine from these plants enhanced a rousing and intoxicating effect of wine, and that wine was kind of love potion. The question is, how does atropine work? Why does atropine induce hallucinations? For that, we start from the very beginning. Whenever you eat, you receive tons of macro elements such as potassium, sodium, calcium. They travel through the digestive system, bloodstream, and reach the cells. However, what is really important for your cells is the balance of that ions. It should be a lot of potassium, for example, and less sodium and calcium. Atropine breaks this balance and induce hallucinations. Cigarettes also breaks this balance and can induce like pleasing effects. Additionally, those cute little fugu fish use iron balance to actually kill people. <laughs> Why do I tell you all that, you ask me? Cells need to guard their borders. They should closely monitor which ions goes in. For that, they have special guardians, ion channels. Ion channels are special proteins that let only specific ions to pass through. Ions charged and the flow of charged particles actually electrical current. One system in your body that especially needs electrical current is neurons. Neurons use electricity to transduct the signal. That means that ion channels are especially important in the brain, and ion imbalance can easily make you feel flying or full of love. And one of that brave guardian is actually my protein. Science like Amazon loves beautiful poetic names. So, my protein is non selective, calcium permeable, catan channel, trying to step in potential, status family member 2 or TRPM2. I guess I would better call it my protein. <laughs> so, my protein is basically a channel and acts like a door or hatch. It might be closed and not let anything in, or it might be open and let calcium in. It's a tetrameric protein, which consists of one, two, three, four subunits. And it's a membrane protein. It has two important domains. N terminal MHR12 domain and C terminal Newtonian H domain. I think you will not remember it. So for simplicity, I'll call them Luke Skywalker and Han Solo domains. They love the same molecule. 
<risos> ADPR. <risos> ADPR is kind of child of forbidden love between RNA and ATP because it's like ADP ribose, ADP ribose. ADPR activates my protein. When ADPR binds to these two domains, door opens and let calcium in. However, ADPR has father's genes. On one hand, it can be peaceful second messenger and be involved in such tasks as insulin secretion, redox sensing, and temperature sensing. On the other hand, it can lead to dangerous calcium overload, which lead to apoptosis or cell death. As far as TRPM2 is abundant in neurons, it plays great role in brain health. In neurodegenerative diseases or after stroke, TRPM2, my protein, greatly impact in brain injury. So it increase brain injuries. That's why we are interested in studying this protein and especially these two domains that regulates its work. Questions that we want to answer in our study. Why do two domains bind the same molecule? Does EDPR bind to these domains equally? What's the mechanism of TRPM2 activation? What's the mechanism of TRPM2 regulation? We start from this question because if you find that ADPR binds to these two domains, to Han Solo and to Luke Skywalker domain, differently, we can suggest mechanism of regulation and activation, and that might be the reason why two domains binds the same molecule. For that, we want to measure KD between ADPR and these two domains. KD is like inversely proportional to love, to affinity. And we want to measure which domain ADPR prefers. It's like watching drama with love triangle because ADPR loves both but clearly has a favorite. <laughs> we still need to prove this, but we already discovered irrefutable evidence that my protein, TRPM2, is prone to such love dramas. Attention to the screen. No way you can be, no way you meant to be. It's easy. 